Moving to Cleveland can be a little bit tricky if you're trying to land in one of the suburbs that surround it. In today's video, we are going to be touring a home that is in Berea, Ohio, and that is a little bit southwest of Cleveland. You're still gonna have a pretty short commute to get up into downtown, but I think Berea has a lot to offer as far as amenities go. Another home that we're gonna be checking out today has three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and it comes in just over 2,100 square feet, so you are going to have a ton of room to house a family. And the area that this home is located is very close to downtown Berea, so you are gonna have a short drive that is going to allow you to be in a very walkable area. You're gonna have a lot to choose from as far as grocery shopping, retail shopping, restaurants, and even parks. Now, as far as parks go in the area, you're gonna have a lot to choose from because Cleveland has a ton of metro parks. But in this particular section, we are going to be looking at Coe Lake. Coe Lake is one of those really cool areas that you can go just walk around the lake. And then there's also some woods hiking as well. And during the summer, they put on a lot of family related activities. So it is perfect for pretty much anyone. You are able to go have fun by yourself. Or if you wanna go as a family, you can definitely show up for some of the events that they put on. And at these events, they'll have outdoor movies and activities for kids to play. Now you're also gonna have a very short commute to Olmstead Falls, which is going to allow you to have another opportunity to go to a different area to shop and explore some different metro parks. So if you're the outdoorsy type, I don't think you can go wrong with the Berea area. Now, if you're looking to move to the Berea area, feel free to reach out to me. All my contact information is down in the description. My name's Sam Oler, and I'm your Cleveland area realtor. But without further ado, let's hop right into checking this house out. So here we are today touring this beautiful Berea ranch and it is a gorgeous one. I love all the trees on this property. It makes it feel really close to nature. And upon entry into the home, we are going to have a ceramic tile on the ground that is a really cool black pattern. And then you're gonna have some updated vinyl floors in the hallway leading to your bedrooms. And off to the right, you're gonna have your first bedroom. It's not the biggest bedroom in the world, but it does suffice for having a queen size bed along with a pretty decent sized closet. You're gonna have a floor to ceiling bifold door closet that is going to allow you to store all of your clothes in. And right next to that bedroom, you are going to have another one that is a little bit bigger and you are going to have about the same size closet in this one as the first one, but you are gonna have a little bit more space for a bed and maybe a dresser. Now as we start to work back into that hallway that we were just in, we are going to have the bathroom off to the right and they have a tile on the ground, but it's not a real tile. And they did a new vanity with a new sink and that giant mirror is really nice, but you've got a little bit older shower that could probably use a cleaning and probably some sort of epoxy to make it feel new again. And I peeked in there and there was just a little bit of storage and it was nothing special. And in here, we are going to have our laundry room. Now in this laundry room, you are going to have pegboards. So you have the ability to add more storage if you want. And then you're also going to have your hot water tank and your furnace. Now these are appearing to be a little bit older units. So you're going to want to keep that in mind if you are going to offer on this house, but an inspection will show you exactly how old it is. And here is the copper that is all of the water lines in the house. And that's pretty regular for this slab type home that this house is sitting on. Now, further down, we have one more bedroom and that has access to the backyard with a sliding door. And this room is the biggest of all of them. You are going to have the most space in here, but it's kind of a weird setup for where you would put your bed. It might not make a whole lot of sense. Now you're gonna have a walk-in closet in this bedroom as well, which is super convenient because you are gonna need all the storage that you can get for your clothes. And across from the closet, you are going to have another bathroom. And this is a nice ensuite to have, but that vanity is kind of messed up. I would definitely do a different one. And as far as the shower goes, same thing, you're probably gonna to wanna to clean it and then do a glaze just to make it feel nice and new. And it is a raised shower, so you're gonna also have to keep that in mind as well. Now, as we start to work our way back into the room and towards the middle of the house where we originally began, we're gonna to start to have some access to the living area and the kitchen area. Now, this is another view of the entryway. You have a bunch of glass and that is going to lead you into the living room. Now, this living room is absolutely massive. You've got a ton of doors leading to the exterior, so it's gonna let in a ton of natural light. Now, you do have a bunch of different lights on the ceiling but you don't even need them for this house during the day. And then you're gonna have a floor to ceiling brick fireplace. And then here's a quick look at the backyard. It's a pretty narrow backyard, but you're gonna have a lot of depth to it. And then you're gonna have a little patio that directly leads you outside. 
Now here in this dining area, you could set up a massive table. I can fit my whole family in here very easily and that is super convenient because you could throw some pretty extravagant get-togethers where everyone is not going to be separated. They can all be in the same place at once. Now you're going to have a second fireplace in this house and it is going to have that floor to ceiling brick again. And this, I don't know what this is, so if you do, comment down below for sure. I think it might be some sort of like cooktop and just a separate area for cooking from the kitchen, but I've never seen anything like that before. So now in the kitchen, we are going to have a galley style kitchen. It's got a little bit of open space into the living area, but it's still cut off by the top cabinets. So I would probably get rid of those just to really open it up and make it feel grand again. And as we start to work our way through the kitchen, you're going to have another open space over here that you can use as an eat-in breakfast nook and just another mudroom type area because you've got the sliding doors that lead out to the side of the house and you're going to have another access into this family room. Now in the front of the house, you are going to have another room and I would probably use this as an office just because it is another great area to keep an eye on what's going on up front in the house and you'll still have access to the kitchen if you need it. Now working our way back over we are going to have another view of this whole living area and it's a really cool house and a great opportunity for someone. If you made it this far into the video I want to say thank you it shows that you might be looking to move to the Berea area and if you are feel free to reach out to me. All of my contact information is down in the description along with my social media. But if it makes it a little bit easier on you, you can feel free to call or text me here. I hope you like the tour of this home. But with that being said, I am going to leave the video here. I'll catch you in the next one.